Number three, a take home message when it comes to prostate cancer here at the ASCO GU conference where from, my, from me personally, I, I was um, uh, pleased to see the PFS2 data from the TITAN trial. As we know, TITAN is a phase three randomized control trial um, looking at uh, addition of apalutamide to ADT compared to just ADT in the MHSPC situation. Here, um, we could show that um, the PFS2 was in favor for apalutamide regardless of further treatment, regardless of chemotherapy or another hormonal treatment, known that the investigators were blinded of the further treatment. So this is a good piece of evidence which goes along with the previously reported a patient reported outcome, which was an abstract at ESMO, and also the uh, differentiation of high volume and low volume, showing that regardless of the tumor volume, apalutamide remained beneficial for the patients with MCRPC, which resulted in um, approval of apalutamide in this indication a couple weeks ago for Europe and Germany. I like this uh, charming presentation from Pete Ost on the STOMP trial. And it somehow shows how important it is to discuss our patients in an MDT, multidisciplinary tumor board. And I, I urge my colleagues in, in Lübeck and the surrounding cities and villages to just submit uh, difficult patients to an MDT to have a multidisciplinary decision, like as shown in the STOMP trial. We don't know its hypothesis generation is phase two, but uh, phase three will, let, will, will be like 10 years follow up until we have final results. Until then, I think it's important to see all options from the disciplines. And uh, this is something what has been discussed from and also from, from the EAU, what we will see at the annual Congress. So um, for me personally, I really like the abstract on um, the combination of carbosantinib and atezolizumab in MCRPC. Here, um, there was a lot of movement also on social media on this uh, poster presentation. I would have loved to see this in a plenary, but uh, it was a, just an exploratory phase one, two trial. And uh, out of this trial, um, a phase three is currently running. It's called the COSMIC trial. And I think this is of interest as one option late line for MA, M MCRPC. Um, secondly, I think um, looking at the M0 CRPC population, um, there might be data from the PROSPER trial, um, sh which has shown a two-year MFS benefit for M0 CRPC patient when you early start with enzalutamide. And I suspect they are going to show overall survival data, hopefully already at EAU, but uh, probably throughout this year. Um, I'm very curious to see if this translate this MFS benefit translate in overall survival benefit. That's my personal outlook.